510 State Police, Boston. My wife's been shot. I've been shot. Where is this, sir? I have no idea. I was just coming from Tremont, uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital. We have two shooting victims, Boston. And where are you now, sir? Bravo. Back up, here, man. Let us through. Stand back, man. Yeah. Be careful with her. Watch your waist. Nobody told her she was pregnant. What do you got? Plenty. I'll call it in. Now you start calling the guys at home. The black son of a bitch is a cop killer. You can still see the blood stains on the pavement here, where just a few hours ago, a Reading couple was gunned down in their car by an unknown assailant, described by police as a black man in his late 20s to early 30s. Hey, Caruso, come look at this. One, he's underestimating Boston PD. Two, he's insulting the intelligence of the feds on the strike force. And three, the next time he calls me a girl... Boston Herald, Metro. I'm gonna take out my rubber gloves and turn the bilious slime ball into a boy soprano. What? Black guy in Mission Hill just blew away a couple of yuppies for a few bucks worth of jewelry. You shot both of them? A couple from Reading. White. What were they doing down there? Making a buy? Coming home from birthing class at the Brigham. Oh, that's a first for Boston. If it's true. And any word on Mrs. Stewart, sir? Uh, Mrs. Stewart was pronounced dead a few minutes ago. Charles Stewart, who heroically summoned aid for his dying wife, was a well-to-do suburban fur salesman who made the mistake of driving home from a birthing class through the wrong neighborhood after dark. And now Charles, with a bullet still lodged in his stomach, fights for life with his premature and perhaps brain-damaged little son Christopher. Sadly, Charles Stewart was unable to even attend his wife's funeral today, but all Boston grieves with him for his brutally murdered wife Carol. In Medford, this is Charmaine Jordan.